What up guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Urban V Adventures. Uh, it is December 4th and Thanksgiving just passed. Uh, I want to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving, a little uh, belated Thanksgiving. And uh, let's get into this video. Let's pour ourselves a beer. Uh, today I'm going to be cracking open uh, the Golden Road Wolf Pub Session IPA. Just got off of work and uh, I was all day I was just thinking about making this video. What I was going to be talking about and uh, what I was going to be doing on here. I haven't done a video in a while. Uh, it's been maybe like a month. Sorry about that head. It does so. Cheers, guys. So grab a beer and sit down and watch the video. So today we're going to be talking about uh, a few things. Uh, first of all, the giveaway. We're going to be hopefully doing it soon. Uh, hopefully by, by the end of the year. Uh, if not, we'll just push it over into next year. Uh, I'm still... Um, um, Close to 100 subscribers, you know, if you guys uh, help me out, spread the word, get this video out there, and uh, we're going to be doing the giveaway hopefully once I hit the, the 100 mark. Uh, second up, we're talking about, sorry, second up, uh, we're going to be doing an unboxing. Let me get this fit. put this down here. Oh, I'll keep it up here. Okay. So, I got a gift card recently for my birthday, which just passed uh, at the end of November. Got a gift card and it was for Bass Pro. Uh, I was thinking about getting some some tackle gear, some kind of like a, a new tackle box or going to, to uh, storage you know, equipment. I was like, let me just get some lures so I can get some. And Bass Pro lures the, the XPS brand, or the XPS line, are actually really cheap. They're around two ninety nine each. They go up to I think like five dollars each. The cheapest I think I've ordered like uh, two ninety nine. I bought this unfortunately right before the sale, and some went down to one ninety nine, and some stayed you know the regular price. I don't think these went down. The ones I got. So let's get into it. be using my Benchmade. If any of you guys are knife lovers out there, Benchmade Grip Tillian, a mini grip. And just to let you guys know I did open this already, just to make sure everything was in there. I re-taped it up. Sorry to ruin the drum dramatization. So I'm not gonna really get into these. I'm not gonna do uh, extensive like an extensive review, I'm just going to tell you guys what it was, what it is, and uh, it's the color, the, the, the size, the, the diving depth, and the weight. So, first off, uh, it was, uh, I wanted to, to get some more crank, some more square builds. I, I really don't have, I think I only have one square build crank, and I wanted to, to go ahead and, and uh, you know, increase the, my crank, my crank arsenal. So I've got these two cranks, these two square bills. I'll show some some uh, closer pictures. This one's in the pearl splatter back, and this is the length of two and a half inches. Weight is three eighths, three eighths ounce. Diving depth is three to five feet. So it's a uh, you know, uh, uh, it's a it's a it's a, it's a shallow crank. And this other scrub bill was a chartreuse in black. This one is also uh, two and a half inches long. Weight is three eighths ounce. Diving depth is also uh, three to five feet. And this color, uh, I think it's just chartreuse black. <clears throat> uh, got this the squirrel lipless crank. This color is actually I really like this color. That's why I, this thing is this is here. That's why I bought it. It's the olive shad with it has it has almost like reflective foil on it. The minnow uh, jerk bait. This one is chrome black 
and it's uh, 3 16 ounce. The length on my shirt is not the length on here. It's this is the other. Let me show you. You know how big this is. So it's about a four inch, four inch minnow. And lastly was uh, that that jerk bait right there. And I don't have the size on this. This is this one is suspending. This one's suspending jerk. This one I believe was a a, a floating or uh, excuse me a uh, diving. This is about a little under five inches long. This is in that blue chrome also. It's a little bit of that the belly I think it's like a like a some chartreuse on the on the body on the on excuse me on the on the on the side with a little bit of pearl on the bottom and then that blue chrome on top. What I forgot to sorry I didn't even mention on the cranks it did did have uh uh oval uh split ring, excuse me. Oh, we'll split rings on, on for the for the for the eyes. That's pretty much it. The doors. Uh, like I said, I'll put in some a little more close-up pictures so you guys can see the, the the you know the the reflectiveness or the the pattern of the of the lures. I pulled this uh, crankbait out. This is the KVD. This is my KVD. I've had since like day one. I've almost lost this lure, like I'd say like 10 times, managed to get it back. I'm talking about stuck in trees, over limbs, underneath, you know, some piles, some, some wood piles and some lay down. Got this back somehow. This thing has been with me since day one. I'm just going to give you guys a comparison of the KVD versus uh, the Bass Pro. Actually, I'll, I'll just take it out just to show you guys. I took some of these out just to look at them. Put them back in for the video. If any of you guys follow Kevin Bullington uh, YouTube channel, he did a comparison on, on these. He did a really good, really good video on, on the, the Bass Pro uh, cranks and, and that's why that's one of the reasons why I ended up buying these cranks. For for being two ninety nine, you know these things are actually really nice. Uh, you know Quality wise, it, it, it's not going to be the same as say like a like a uh, like a li uh, Livingston or a, uh, you know a higher quality twenty dollar crank. But this was I think almost like ten not ten dollars under ten dollars like seven dollars five ninety nine if you, know, if you can find it for for cheaper two ninety nine this thing is freaking awesome. Hook quality on this on the on the KVD it really isn't that great either. But this, these are actually really nice. If they ever bend out, I'll just switch them out. But you know, I'm not pulling out five pounders. The most I'll, I'll pull out of my local lakes is like a pound and a quarter, pound and a half. You know, from, from my experience, never been lucky enough to pull anything out, anything out heavier or anything bigger. So, uh, just wanted to give you guys a little little update of what I've been up to in my free time. Uh, I wish I had enough time to make more videos, and I've kind of jumped into like a little hobby. You now, not that I already have enough, but uh, I jumped into a hobby of, of um, I love woodworking. And I love working with my hands and building shit and, and uh, um, you know uh, arts and crafts kind of stuff. I've started building my own uh, my own lures. Just for the just for the you know fun of it, I started to uh, to make it mostly out of maple and and uh, you know softwoods. So just want to show you guys what I've been up to. This one down. So that right there is one of the lures I I, I made. Couple of, couple of weeks ago, the little topwater popper, 
very uh, you know old school head on style 1950s you know two tone that red and the ivory color very Japanese inspired too like uh, I've been very inspired by by Japanese uh, fish uh, uh, fishing lures uh, if you guys go on Instagram and and, and follow a lot of the have have uh, if you look up uh, Instagram such as uh, uh, Bass Mania or uh, uh, Bass Nation. Uh, what's another one? Uh, Line Slack USA. These guys are coming out with some really weird lures that you would never think caught anything. Uh, this this thing right here, uh, kind of got inspired by this Japanese style uh, wake baits, the jointed wake baits and wake wake baits, and went ahead and kind of tried my hand at one put some reflective eyes on there and it's very uh this i haven't even tried out yet but uh, i know it'll make some weird shit you know whether or not a fish you know bites it or or uh, uh strikes at it i don't know like if it's if it's something that's even worth fishing with i guess i don't know or if it's more just like arts and crafts kind of a thing you just buy hang up and kind of talk about Here's another one. This one actually was the first one, right? The cigar style broomstick handle lure. Double hooks, double trebles. So, that's what I've been up to. If anyone actually, for some reason, likes them or might be interested in, make, in, in, in buying one, you know, contact me. And I can probably even make you a custom one. Here's actually one that I, I just finished painting up the other day. Yeah. Just get it. Can't even see it. But this is going to be like a, a lipless crank. It's going to be a floating crank. But. This one's ready to go, it just needs to be clear coated and waterproof. So, that's pretty much what I've been up to. Again, if you guys like them or would use down it to buy one, let me know in um, comments or message me or whatever, and then I could probably get, you know, get one out to you. Just pay for my money or whatever. And I'll paint it whatever, whatever you want. Alright guys, so kind of to close off this video, I just wanted to like kind of take a little rant. Uh, about responsible fishing, I talked about this before, and I'm, you know, most any of you guys have, have seen my videos before have, uh, you know, probably heard this before. So I just wanted to to kind of just go into it again. Now that spring's coming up, and it's gonna be like a little, it's gonna be more fishing going on. Just wanted to uh, anyone that's watching this video is new to my channel or new to fishing and comes across this video. Hopefully, this video can, you know, inform you guys a little more and help you guys to to uh, uh, you know be a more responsible and uh, safe fisherman or angler so uh, I'd always encourage anyone that's starting off fishing you know make sure you 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 know your laws make sure you you uh, research where you're gonna be fishing if you can fish there you know make sure you're using correct legal tactics uh, not chumming I've seen people chum at my lakes I've seen most likely they're carp and catfish, you know, fit anglers, and it kind of pisses me off. It really does. And I actually have, I actually had, I had a person uh, message me or contact me, really, like, you know, on uh, on on YouTube, uh, a fellow subscriber. That uh, they were fishing the other day and they came across a, a gutted bass on a table on a picnic table by the lake, and oh man, that just infuriated me it, it it pissed me off to no end that's just a waste like it doesn't need to happen first of all you shouldn't even be eating the bass especially out of lakes out of southern california nothing's nothing's coming out uh that's gonna be you know worth eating it, especially a bass so catch and release is what i promote don't keep don't keep bass even for pets I, I've thought about it too it'd be kind of a cool idea but 
you know, if you want to eat a catfish, eat a catfish out of some dirty lake. That's your problem. I, I care about my bass. And please, you know, anyone, anyone out there, if you see someone, somebody poaching or see somebody doing something that's not right, you know, speak up, tell them some, tell them, hey, don't fucking do that. You know, some bass, bass fishermen as a community are very, we're very, uh, uh, we should be very respectful of our, of our, of our waters and of our, of our outdoors. So, please, please, guys, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You fishermen out there, you responsible fishermen. I know there's plenty of them out there. Spread the word of of, uh, of uh, bass fishing and, and safe fishing. So, anyways, uh, that concludes the video. Again, you guys, you know, I'm talking. I was talking about the the giveaway. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Leave anything that helps me out. It gives me feedback, good or bad. You know, even if it's bad and bad feedback, if it's a bad comment, I've I don't take it to heart, and uh, it's it's uh, it's feedback and. and in the sense make sure you know uh, if you guys like this video let your buddies know about this video on my channel like it and and uh, hopefully we can get grow this channel to be uh, to be larger more videos coming up spring times coming up uh, hopefully once once it uh it uh you know we get a little more rain out here I want to do a rainy video I want to do a, a video where I'm out there in the rain and uh doing some some uh, some fishing I love love the rain I'll be out there I'll be out there with uh, my graphite pole and uh, my chest rig I don't care if I get struck by lightning so cheers guys I hope you guys have a great great day thanks for watching remember uh, like comment subscribe see you guys